Hello beautiful, my name is Sharon Kelly and welcome to my channel Super Aging. You know what to do, hit the like button, subscribe, I really do appreciate it, thank you. Today we're doing a booty and blast for the whole body. If you don't have a band, just grab some weights because you will be able to use that weights instead of the band. The other thing is the band intensifies the work. It also can intensify any existing injuries or issues you might have, like lower back or knees. If you find that you're getting irritation with the band, just take it off. Don't use it. But other than that, if you're ready, grab your band and place it around your legs. The trick with these bands is getting them on so they don't screw up without making too much noise. Also, I'm using this cushion for my knees and I'm using these weights so my wrist is not this way, it is this way. That's just optional. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Let your spine get nice and heavy on the mat. Place your hands just over your abdominals. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, I want you to lift the left leg into tabletop, breathe in lower, breathe out, right leg. Work through this movement as I just explain your posture. Your spine remains imprinted. As you lift your leg, I want you to contract your abdominals and also keep your body weight centred as opposed to going from side to side. <laughs> Let's do four more. Two more. Feeling the abdominals start to work a little bit more with each leg lift. Bring your hands behind your head. Lift your shoulders off the mat. Let your head fall into your hands. So you're just supporting your head with your hands. We're doing four. We're lifting the leg four times. Keeping the shoulders off the mat. One more. Bring your head and shoulders down. Keep going for four. Three. Two. One. Lifting your shoulders and your head off the mat. Lifting your legs off the, alternate lifting your legs up. One more. Bring your head and shoulders down. This is a bit of a tongue twister for me today. And lifting your head and shoulders off the mat. We're lifting the leg, four legs four times. Last one. Bring your head and shoulders down. Bring your legs into tabletop. Keep your spine imprinted. We're going to lower the left leg, then the right leg. We're doing that one more time on each leg. And lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Do your four leg lowers, keeping the spine imprinted. Bringing your head and shoulders down. We've got four, three, two, one. Lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Lower your leg for four, three, two, one. We're going through this one more time. Keep your spine imprinted. And last one, lift the shoulders and head off the mat for four, three, two, one. <laughs> Bring your legs into your chest, lift your hips and let your head go from side to side. 
Cross your ankles and roll yourself up and scoot back, keeping the band on. We're going into four-point kneeling. And let's start with three cat cows. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, round the spine. Let your head go towards the floor. Two more. And this is our last one. In four-point kneeling, what we want to achieve is that we keep our elbows soft, our shoulders away from our ears. And I want you to imagine here that you're picking a pee up with your belly button, okay? So let's just practice that. I did this the other day. Breathe in. As you breathe out, pick the pee up with your belly button and draw the pee right up into your spine. Breathe in. Don't drop the pee, but expand your belly about 20%. Breathe out. Bring the pee right up towards your spine. Breathing in, just let, don't let the pee drop. Just let the belly go about 20%. One more time, breathing out. Bring the pee into the spine. We're going to go into baby plank. I want you to keep the pee in your belly button. So tuck your toes, soften your elbows. They're never locked in this position. Breathe in as we breathe out. We're picking the pee up. We're lifting our belly and we're lifting our knees slightly off the mat. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Keep your abdominals engaged. Pressing your hands into the floor. Try not to lift your knees too high. Keep them quite low to the floor. Slowly bring your knees down. Come into a child's pose. Coming back up into baby plank. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Lift the abdominals into the spine. Lift the knees off the mat. This time we're just going to push the legs into the band, resist the band as our legs, knees come under our hips. As we bring the knees back under our hips, think about lifting, picking the pee off the mat. <laughs> I don't know if that helps, but for me it's good. Every time I think about picking the pee up, I suck my abdominals in. Let's do four. You'll have to let me know. Three more, staying strong. Two. Last one, have you still got the pee in your belly button? Yes, no. Push the hands away, just let this stretch out. Ah, good work, guys. We're going into push-ups. Oh, what's a workout without push-ups these days? We're going to keep the band around our legs. You can do your push-ups here, coming straight down, leading with the chest. You can do them on your knees or your toes. I'm going to do mine on my knees today. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Contract your abdominals. Lower your chest towards the floor. Engage your chest muscles. Use your chest muscles to lift yourself back up. Let's do eight. Seven. Be strong. Be powerful. Five more. Lower, lower, lower towards the floor. Four. You're doing so well. Keep going. You've got three and two. Be strong. One. Push back. Leave your tail in the air and just let your chest stretch out and release. Excellent work. Also, just give your wrists a little roll out. Take the band off. 
I feel like I'm going to do this big burp, so I apologise if I do. We're going into a bridge position. Just roll down one vertebrae at a time. And let's do three slow bridges here just to ease out the spine. Push the tailbone into the floor. Push your lower back into the floor. Peel your spine off the mat. Keep your chest and shoulders open. And roll down one vertebrae at a time. You want to feel your spine lengthen as you roll down. Two more. And last one. Well done. We're going to do 10 hinge bridges, which means that we're just going to press our feet into the floor, squeeze the glutes and lift up for 10, 9. Drive your hips up nice and high. Knees are stable. 6. Ah, oh, I've got a cramp. Five, four, <laughs> sorry about that, three, two, the last one, great. Bring the band, now if you don't have a band you can grab weights, so you'd be holding your weight, otherwise bring the band around your wrists. Push your wrists or arms into the band, keep the tailbone on the floor at the moment, Draw, bring the arms down, keeping tension on the band. Squeeze the chest, push your arms up. Do one more, leaving the arms in the air. As we lower this time, we're going, we're going to lift the hips off the mat. So let's go for 10. 10. Nine, keep tension on your band. Eight, as you lift your hips up, you're standing on your feet. Six more. Five, four, three. Drive the hips up nice and high. The last one, coming down. This time I want you to grab the band and hold it like this. What you're doing with the band is you're going to pull it apart. Draw the elbows towards the floor, hold, resist the band and don't let your band get slack. Keep tension on the band, then pull it apart again. Let's do one more practice. Excellent. As we pull the band apart, we're going to lift the hips up. 10, 9, 8, 7. Squeeze the glutes at the top. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Place the band once again round your wrists. And keep tension on your band. This time we're bringing the band towards our hips, to our chest. If you don't have shoulder issues, I want you to bring the band over your head. Let's do three. Any issues with your shoulder, just stop at your chest shoulders just stop at your chest last one well done bring the band overhead as we bring the band towards our hips we're going into the bridge bring the band to your hips squeeze the glutes bring the band back let's do eight Staying nice and strong. Seven. Six. 
five. Contract your glutes as you lift up. Feel them get stronger. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring your arms back over your head. Grab your legs. Draw the knees towards your chest. Sitting up, grab your band and place it around your legs. I'm using my cushion for my knees. This is very optional. And I'm using the weights for my wrists. Once again, that's also very optional. We want, want to keep our abdominals lifted. If the pee, if the pee analogy helps, imagine that. It helps me, actually. Imagine the pee's there and you're drawing, you're drawing it into your spine and you're going to keep it there. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. We're going to lift the right leg into a donkey kick for 12 reps. So we're going to lift it up, but then we're going to lift it up a little bit more, tap the knee down. Keeping our body weight centred. Don't lock your elbows here. Let's do nine. Seven more. Keep the shoulders away from your ears so your neck stays nice and long. You have four. Three. Feel the glute contract as you lift high. Last one. And this time we're bringing the leg out to the side so it's still staying at a 90 degree angle. We lift up and then up again. Keep your chest level to the floor. You've got 10. Nine, lift high. Eight. Seven. Six, four more, three, equal pressure on both hands. That's how you know if your body weight's, um, if you're not keeping your body weight centred, you find you put more pressure on one hand. We're combining those two movements. Draw the shoulders back, lift the foot to the ceiling, tap the knee down, lift it to the side. Let's do 10. Nine, lift high. Seven. Six. Five. Abdominals are still engaged. Four. Three more. Two. Last one. Well done. Come back just for a little stretch. And let's repeat that on the other side. I'll just face this way. Soften your elbows, level your chest to the floor, draw the shoulders away from your ears. We're lifting the left leg. Lift and lift again. Keeping your abdominals engaged and your body weight centred. Eight. Five more. Four, three, two, one.
Bring the leg out to the side, lift it up, lift a little bit higher. Keeping equal pressure on your hands. Let's do nine, eight, chest is level to the floor. Six more, five, three, last one. Straight into the combination, lift the leg up, bring it out to the side. Ten, nine, seven. How are you going? Are you lifting your leg up nice and high? Six, five, three more. Two, the last one. Great work. Come back into your child's pose. We're finishing today with seated posture work. Take, grab the band and place it around your wrist. What's important here is that we're sitting up really tall. What I mean by that is you're not rounding back. You've got a really straight spine. Your ears, your shoulders and your hips are in one long line. You might need a cushion or something to sit on to help you achieve that and that's fine. Grab it now. Place a band around your wrist. I'm keeping my knees bent for the simple reason is that if I straighten them, I'm going to round my back. So I want to keep them slightly bent to keep my back straight. Let's just practice with where we're going. So we're hinging from our hips. So we're going to hinge forward, keeping our spine straight. Sit up. This movement is coming from your hips and your glutes. One more. Keep a bit of tension on your band, hinge forward, your little fingers are on the floor, draw the shoulders down, lift the chest so you start to feel your upper back engage, lift the arms up as high as you can and then bring the fingers back down, little fingers back down to the floor. Keeping your chest lifted, your chin towards your chest. Let's work on three more. We want to feel, you want to feel your upper back engage here. The last one. We're lifting the band up over our head. Now this time we're going to initiate the movement from our shoulders and we're pulling our arms back. Squeeze your shoulders and feel your arms pull back. Let's do three. Keep your chest lifted. Two. One, bring your little fingers back down to the floor. Lift, lift up and down. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Lifting your arms up. We're going to use our shoulders to pull our arms back. We're going to push our wrists slightly or gently into the band. Pull back. Push your wrists into the band. Pull back, push your wrists in the band. Let's do three and two and one. Bring your little fingers to the floor. Lift up for six, five. Keep your chest lifted. Four, three, one more. Let's get rid of the band. Bring your little fingers back to the floor, lift your chest. We're going to lift our arms up, reach the arms away, use your shoulders just to pull the arms back, lift the chest, sit up nice and tall, 
turn the palms out. Imagine your arms are going through mud. And as you push your arms through the mud, you feel your spine get long. Five more. Lift the arms up nice and high, pull them back, sit up tall, turn the palms out, push your arms down, four more, well done, three, keep the chest lifted, two more to go. Last one, lift your arms up, lift them up back, pull them back a little bit more, sit up, turn your palms out, push your arms down and feel that nice length in your spine. Good job, guys. Let's just release the work we did. Just let your hips go from side to side. Let's do a stretch for our hamstrings. You can use the band. You can place the band around your foot. Stretch the legs. Just watch your knee, so you might need to keep the knee bent. Cinch up the band so your chest is going towards your leg. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. Breathe out, let your chest lower towards the leg. Breathing in, feel the length in your spine. Breathing out, lower the chest, and let go of the band. Place your hands on either side of your leg. I just want you to round your back and let your head go towards your leg. Lift the chest, draw the shoulders away from your ears and sit up. Let's do that on the other side. It's a nice stretch to finish the class with. I had a few interruptions today. I'm hoping I can stitch this video together okay. Cinch the band up. Breathing in. As we breathe out, we lower the chest towards the leg. Breathing in. Feel, that, feel the length in your spine. Breathing out. Lower the chest towards the leg. Let go of the band. Round your spine. Lift your chest and sit up. And as always, let's finish with three deep intoxicating breaths. Breathing in, bringing your arms right back behind you as you breathe out. Two more. And last one. Great work, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's class. And as I said, I did have a few interruptions with Carl. Um, <laughs> so I'm really hoping that this class works out okay. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye.